Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see the example of triggers in a SQLite database. But first of all, I'm going to query employee table, select star from employee. So I will create trigger on this particular table. Okay. Whenever a value is inserted in this table, a trigger will be executed that will maintain the log of value that is inserted. Okay. So let's create a trigger. So for creating a trigger, I will have to create a table first, which will maintain the log of value that is inserted. Okay. So create table audit log. So audit log is the uh, name of table, which will maintain the log. Okay. So column will be ID. So it will have the employee underscore ID employee underscore ID. So the second column, it will have the entry date time. Okay. Text not null. So let's create this table first. So, okay, a table has been successfully created. Now I will mention this audit log table in the uh, trigger. So to create a trigger, I will use create trigger. So the name of trigger, let's say employee underscore log is the name of trigger. Okay. After insert. So this trigger will be executed after the insert statement is executed. Okay. On employee. So this trigger is applied on employee table, this table. Okay. Let me query this table, this table. This is after insert begin ends. Okay. And so here I will write the insert statement insert into this table audit underscore log table values. So my first value will be this employee underscore ID. So I will write new dot employee underscore ID. Okay. ID comma date and time date and time now. So this will give me the current date and time. Okay. In GMT semicolon at the end semicolon at the end of end statement. Okay. So this is how you create a trigger. So this will be after insert. So let me execute this trigger. Look, a trigger has been successfully created. Now, if I want to check the trigger, this look, one trigger has been created. Okay. Now, now I'm going to insert a value in, in the employee table. So this is my employee table. Now I want to insert values in this particular table. Look, insert into employee values. So my first value will be, let's say 150, 150. Okay. Uh, first name is, let's say ABC. Last name, let's say CDE. Salary, let's say 50,000. Department ID, let's say 150. One designation, let's say AM. Okay. So this is the row, which I'm going to insert in this particular table. So after the successful execution of this insert statement, this trigger will be automatically executed. Okay. Now execute this insert statement. Look, insert statement has been successfully executed. Now I will query this audit underscore log table. Okay. 
so in this table i will have the newly added employee id and the date and time in gmt select star from audit underscore log table look employee id 150 okay uh, entry date and time which is this this is in gmt time okay so this is how you execute the trigger okay now let's look at another table select star from sqlite master so this table will contain the list of triggers okay where type equals to trigger and table name is employee okay now execute this query look uh, for this employee table there is only one trigger so this sqlite underscore master table will have the list of triggers okay so if you don't want to have this trigger, you will use drop command to drop this trigger. Okay, drop trigger name of trigger, which is employee underscore log is the name of trigger. Execute this particular query. Look, query has been successfully executed. This trigger has been dropped. Okay, now I'm not going to have this trigger here. Okay zero trigger so if i execute this sqlite underscore master i will not get any result zero rows returned okay now in this way i can create before insert trigger okay so let's create this so okay now create look query has been successfully executed this is the employee table now i will insert this value 160 a a c c okay 60000 let's say journal manager so now insert this particular query so a query has been successfully executed so this trigger will be executed before insert statement so first this trigger will be executed then it will insert this particular row in the table okay now if i want to uh, execute this particular query to check the audit log look another row has been inserted time is this okay employee id is this okay 160 now check look so this is how you create trigger with insert statement okay hope you understood this concept thank you so much and have a great learning